Hey guys, you got Craig here, and this is about a 10 year old game. And I want to try and answer a question in 2022 on whether it's still worth it. To be clear, this is just on the campaign of Future Soldier. Now, the TLDR of this whole thing is that if you don't like 10 year old graphics or linear games, or you really just like the Wildlands format by a pretty far margin, then this game isn't for you. So let's get at it from different perspectives, which are graphics, story, and gameplay. Like I said, it's a 10 year old shooter, so age becomes really evident. From the moment you boot it up, you will see that the textures, facial and body animations, physics, lighting, and pretty much everything else is from, well, years back. It's one of those things though, sometimes art style can make games last longer, even though the characters will have maybe a blocky look. In my opinion though, Future Shoulder doesn't have this lasting appeal. It's not bad, but it's one of those games that won't last too long if you put any consideration into a game's look. So I think that while I could appreciate the way it was crafted and written, the graphics would wear it down as it gains on years, or faster compared to other games. Now some other titles have a bit more longevity like Crisis 1, mainly because of how it pushed the envelope during its time, or maybe World of Warcraft in the MMO space because of its you know, cartoonish or goofy character style. And an example maybe in the RPG space would be Dragon Age Inquisition, mainly because of how it was crafted. For Future Soldier though, I think the 10 year old graphics carries out through most of the game. Uh, there are some missions here and there that might make it look a bit better, but really not much. Oh, maybe the final mission. It actually has okay graphics while, or at least the lighting that we used in it. But uh, yeah, like I said, maybe two or three other missions, but all throughout, it's pretty much a 10 year old game. Now, from an audio experience, it still holds up. Gunshots, voice acting, ambient sounds, music, yep, they're all still okay unless you only play military type shooters all the time and you have a very punitive eye when it comes to judging similar games. In fact, the voiceovers in Future Soldier were done so well that they sort of are better than Wildlands interactions or quips, even though Wildlands is a newer game. It's very strange, but I you feel more engaged in the talks between the squad mates and or interactions with NPCs in Wildlands. I mean, in Future Soldier compared to Wildlands. So yeah, that's how much better the audio experience is for a, this, well, this 10 year old game. In terms of the story or the plot, it's a military shooter from years back, so let's make this section quick. In terms of story, it won't be anything new or shocking in 2022, but it doesn't mean it's terrible. It's still a good telling of how, well, or at least I think, it's still a good telling of how maybe a made up spec ops team would behave and perform the job. The plot is about 8 to 11 hours long, depending on how you pace yourself, so that's easily close to double the amount of time for a typical Call of Duty campaign. The storytelling is contained because it is linear. You won't have that feeling of being lost or you won't have the option to do things on the side like Wildlands. Someone is basically telling you a story and you take a ride with that person to the end credits. And like I said, that's pretty much it about the plot. Without, I can't say anything more without spoiling it. But again, some of the plot is delivered through cutscenes. And again, going back to the graphics, it's a 10 year old game. so. Uh, it does give you uh, clear backstories, it explains things pretty well, but again, the look of the game might bother you, so there is that thing to take note of. Gameplay, I think, is the uplifting factor of this 10-year-old game, especially when combined with the plot. If you haven't played any Clancy Ghost Recon game, or I could even say any Ubisoft game, then this is one of their linear games that has third-person shooter mechanics. If we judge this game based on that alone, then this is a really good title, even though it's old. I'm also replaying Wildlands right now, and I honestly prefer that game over Future Soldier, but you know, Future Soldier is still a pretty good contained experience. Its shooting mechanics are still solid, and the execution of everything else is very much directed. Now, Wildlands is more open and gives you a lot of different things to do, but you know, sometimes it's that kind of format is not for everyone. 
The campaign structure in Future Soldier is sectioned into missions. Now, the start of each mission openly suggests which weapons you should use for engagements. Now, nearly all weapons work for each mission. When you really think about it, anything that basically takes down the bad guy is really just a good fit. But the options help with the personal preferences and execution style and maybe immersion. Now, I normally run any kind of or at least make sure that I carry any kind of weapon with silencers on them. Uh, for both weapons just to sort of enhance the ghost theme style but you're not forced to do that unless a specific mission will require you to maybe carry a certain type of firearm. Also if you played cover shooters like The Division from Ubisoft as well, it also uses the same mechanics but I do feel that the recent one, uh, The Division, is a more refined and better well a good evolution of cover shooting. Now the actual leaning against walls in Future Soldier honestly can feel well, a bit awkward, especially when you're aiming down sight. Now, more often than not, you can position your character the way you want. You can uh, also additional options like you can shoulder swap while you're walking or while you are ADSing while walking, but you can't do that while in cover. So it's pretty strange. I mean, it can be a bother if the target shifts or moves and you are forced to get out of cover just to correct your position. It's not really difficult or hard to manage, but it feels awkward in the middle of a firefight. One more thing to highlight in gameplay is the sync shot feature. Now, because nearly all the missions in the game are squad based play, sync shot becomes really a useful feature. Now, this particular feature or ability, which is also in Wildlands and Breakpoint, is a feature where you can mark up to four targets and have each squad member take them out when you're ready. It's I mean, the first time I used it, I forgot in which game, but it's a really cool feature the first time you use it. But, you know, as you go along, it's just basically something that's baked into the Ghost Recon, Recon games. So, yeah, I just thought I should mention that. In the TLDR at the start of this video, I mentioned that Future Soldier may not be for certain people. Now, really, the campaign is a pretty solid shooter with a decent plot that, well, isn't aging well in the visual space. I haven't tried the multiplayer or co-op, but you know, it might be worth checking out, so I'll leave that to you guys. However, the campaign though, as mentioned, is a very good experience. You can, well, if you can get past <laughs> the fact that the game has been out for 10 years, then you'll have fun with this one. Thanks for checking this out, guys. Talk to you soon.